What is going on guys? It is your boy Apti back with a brand new video today. We're going to be playing some Nuketown and I do have this insane class setup for you with the XM4. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering what this class is. I'm going to be putting it at the end of the video. But before then, you can see I'm absolutely shredding the comp right now. I'm going to hit a nice little reload here. Oh my god, this guy's trying to shock me. Just you damn shocking noobs. This XM4 is actually absurd absolutely destroying this this guy's gonna be afk i think he's losing full that he was getting streaked like crazy jump off the armor play here this has been an insane start i literally just joined the game nice little four piece streak right there now i know i usually do the class setup up in the beginning of the video but today we're going to be doing it a little bit different we're doing it at the end I want you guys to enjoy the gameplay and to hear some stuff I have to say. And then, of course, at the end of the video, we'll have the class setup for you guys. I am doing really well right now with this X4. This gun is truly amazing. Oh, my God. Body armor saving me. Um, this gun is, is a very good and I think one of the most underrated guns ever. This gun, time to kill, is really fast. It is really strong still. I don't think people understand that and uh kind of don't give this the credit it deserves dude oh my god now when i think about the xm4 it's a very interesting gun i think it's a in between of an ak-47 and basically a Krig. now why do i say it's a mix of probably a Krig and an ak-47 well the reason i say that is because it's very good up close like an ak-47 but it can still beam like a Krig, as you're noticing right now some of these kills i'm getting um are very good this guy is just running a rampart in a spawn no one's gonna turn around but i i'll i'll turn around i'll make sure to turn around here don't worry oh my god nice kobe though now when you think about an ak-47 you think about a gun that is very good up close but can still do it all right i mean ak-47 is like one of the best ars if not the best ar it can do it all it can and then when you think about a Krig, you think about a gun that can beam really hard it, beaming capability is truly amazing so the xm4 it's literally a hybrid in between both of those it's really good up close but not as good as the ak maybe or just about and it can still beam really good but just slightly slightly less than the Krig. but you're noticing i am still beaming very well with this class now the funny part about this gun is that I feel like you kind of need gunfighter on this gun and the reason i say you need gunfighter it's not because it sucks without it oh my god holy shit. i thought i was gonna die to nades and here i am popping a five piece gunfighter just make gives the xm4 to its full potential that's the main thing xm4 needs a lot of things to make it good right i mean it's a very underrated gun it's a very good gun but you have like the guns like the Krig, the AK. The AK kind of needs gunfighter a little bit too. Not as much as the XM4, I feel like, but it, it kind of does do better with the gunfighter. And then you think about a gun like the Krig, which is a very good five attachment gun. Oh my. Uh, oops. But man, this gun is absolutely amazing. Regardless, gunfighter or no gunfighter, you're not surviving. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. You think you guys are going to get your angles? Not on. Okay, well, you. You died on someone else's watch. I'm gonna kill you though. That's a little X and 4 action here. I dare somebody to come up these stairs. Oh, they came late. I was gonna go but down myself. Get get some get a part of the action. No, stop shooting me. This guy's taking my spot. Oh. Oh. I hate you, Mr. Type 63. And that's why I shot you. Oh, what the? Now I know what a lot. Blah, 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 now I know what a lot of you guys are gonna ask me. Are any pro players use this gun? Is it you know part of the meta? Maybe is this why you're bringing it up? Well, to be honest with you, pros are actually trying this gun. At least a couple are. Um, and for that reason, it's because in the current meta right now, it can be viable. People are using mainly the Krig. AK-47 is starting to become used less because of the beamage capability, and you can run a five attachment Krig a lot easier. So they are pro players trying it right now and doing very well with it. I mean, you can notice from the gameplay um, just how good of a gun this this thing is, bro. Like it kills fast. So now we got some Nuketown team deathmatch. I am not a fan of team deathmatch on Nuketown. I'll be completely honest. I hate it, but for the content for you guys, we're gonna try our best to do really well on this map and keep talking about the X X and four a bit. This guy is running around with a smoke knife. Okay, it's my worst nightmare. Oh my god. Finally, we got a kill. A minute into the game. 
Yes, good help, teammate. Kill, kill the, kill the knives, knifers. Kill you all, spawn. Snap on you. This guy's throwing smokes. I am terrified. This guy's trying to throw a molly top on me, and I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, I almost beat that guy. I'm on fire. This guy knows I'm here. Can I tell me? Ransom camel get five kills without dying. Damn, I got traded though. So let's talk about the XM4 some more. XM4 has an insane fire rate, um, and that's what makes it really good. But you also gotta be careful when you're shooting, because obviously you run out of ammo really quick when you're shooting a lot of people. Fire rate's absurd. Makes it even. That's what makes it really good up close. Attachments are important in Call of Duty. Attachments are always important in Call of Duty. You want good attachments on your gun. You need good attachments in Call of Duty. It's very important. So obviously the class I'll be sharing with you is really important. You do definitely want to put these attachments. If you think you should make some minor changes to make your class a little better, then go ahead. These guys are actually trying to go for some knife kills in the middle of a tournament. I'm playing a tournament right now. Like I'm sweating. Like you're gonna be going for camels right now or knife camels or whatever you're doing. Oh my god, these guys are my worst nightmare. My worst nightmare, my worst nightmare. So something that makes ARs better in 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 this game specifically as well. It's definitely one is bullet velocity. You want bullet velocity and you want damage range on your barrel, on your gun. Um, damage range is really important when it comes to, you know, extending that, the, the maximized bullet time to kill. Obviously, you see you have like an AK-47 there. Really good up close. It's a four shot kill. I think the XM4 is a five bullet. The AK does technically have, I think, the fastest time to kill out of any AR. I'd accept maybe the FR is maybe the only one. I'm not entirely sure, but guys just laying down dude why why is my tbm game full of knifers dude like i'm absolutely destroying these kids though so i'm doing my thing but why look at this smoke like yes tell me thank you more please now obviously things can change very soon but i can't see pro players just an xm4 or at least try and get out a little bit more is it in the meta nah i would say no it's not it's not in the meta yet can it be in the meta? 100%. I think it has the possibility. Um, people were using it at the start of the game until more people realized, hey, the AK is disgusting. And then it kind of shifted to the Craig a bit because I mean, Craig just gets people off head glitches and everything very easy. What's my final? Oh my God, I saw a murder. 991, can I, can I report a murder, please? My final thing is, I think the XM4 is actually really good. I can see it, you know, being potentially in the meta um right now it's not the best but uh, it's still disgusting i think the xm4 is underrated it's really good and uh we'll see what happens but you guys gotta try out this class it, it, it is great man like look at this ggs guys ggs guys Okay, guys, very briefly, we're going to go over the XM4 class I was rocking and am rocking right now. For the optic, we got the micro flex. You can also run the mill stop reflex if you prefer that. For the muzzle, we got the SOCOM Eliminator for pubs. But if you're not, if you're playing competitive uh, infantry compensator, no doubt. If you notice, it does have a lot of vertical recoil. So that's what you're trying to control the most. Obviously, SOCOM is like kind of what you're aiming for. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. For the barrel, we got the reinforced heavy. This is really important. It doubles the damage range to 91 meters. Now, 91 meters is pretty far. The base is 45. Um, there's a lot of engagements with ARs. You're going to hit around 50 to 60 meters, like at most, in, in these like 66 maps. So you kind of need that 15 more meters, 10 to 15 more meters to really guarantee that, you know, you kill that guy by bullet faster. And obviously gives you that bullet velocity. Um, you could try task force or even just extended, but I think reinforced heavy is like almost a must. We got the steady aim laser. We got the field agent grip. But if you like, you could run the speed grip. Um, it's, speed is really nice on these fast ARs. We got the basic 40 round mag. We got the SASR jungle grip. But I would recommend running the airborne. I just don't have it unlocked. And then we got the buffer too. But I would rec recommend running the raider pack. All right, guys. That's going to be it for me. A nice little XM4 video. Just having some fun with this gun. Highly underrated. Will pro players use it? I mean, it's going to probably be a little more testing. If, you know, somehow it gets buffed a little bit, I definitely could see it going into the meta. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.